So, do you also feel like you always see people take photos and film in amazing locations? You want to do street photography, but you don't live in New York City or a metropolitan area at all. Maybe you want to do landscape photography, but you blame your procrastination on the fact that you don't live on Iceland or another amazing place. The fact that you happen to live exactly where you do might be the biggest benefit to you. People tend to watch these kind of videos for inspiration and escapism. The want and need to get away from your everyday life for just a moment. So if you live in New York, film in New York. If you live in Jaipur, film Jaipur. Rural Mongolia and so on. It might be everyday stuff to you, but to most other people in the world it's exotic and something they would probably never see in real life. I live in a city with less than 30,000 people. And if you think on that, at a global scale, there's very few people in the world that will ever see this place. So therefore, I try to find beauty where I live. Try to see the world around you. Maybe it's the sun hitting that breakfast nook really pretty in the morning. Maybe it's your dog doing something funny on the lawn. Maybe it's the sign outside of that restaurant on the corner, giving off an airy cool glow every night. Whatever interests you and captures your imagination and your attention, that's your biggest asset. That's what you should offer the world. Try not to blame it on your technology. You can't afford a big camera? Well, use a cheap one. Use your cell phone or, you know, borrow, buy something used, find something on a flea market. Make technology work for you instead of the other way around. And probably most important of all, stay true to yourself on what you like, what you want to see, what you want to show, what you want to do. Try not to emulate other people and copy what they do. Your audience will find you if you just stay true to yourself. I mean, of course, be inspired by other people, but do your own thing. In this video, I just went down to the beach where I live. And then I found this old window where the reflections of the ocean really, really took me away. I spent a bit too long there and the people living in the house might have gotten a bit uneasy. Without further ado, here's a roll of my favorite pictures of the day. Then on my way to and from the beach, I found more interesting places. I guess I had to stop the car and snap a picture. Like this little red car, for instance. It kind of reminds me of a toy car. It can also be the corner of a building or the rooftop. Or a random alleyway that catches your attention. My point is, just find beauty where you live. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next video.